Well, I guess I'm nothing but a dang liar. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. A lot sooner than anticipated because the game is actually very quick when you know exactly what you're doing and you skip a lot of superfluous dialogue. Like, I mean, playing back up to exactly where I was only took 53 minutes. As opposed to me playing for 4 hours and 20 minutes. I did not do that on purpose to achieve that meme number. And yeah, also I think I learned a little bit more about how the PS2 handles saving games. Or at least as far as this game is concerned. Like, based on what I've seen now, I don't think that, um, like... The, the glitch where you save in, uh, whatchamacallit, um, oh my god, I, I know words. Like, w w when you save in the marsh, and that, like, causes you to be put into an unwinnable state, I don't think that's what happened to me, upon further inspection. Um, I might as well just get on with, like, all of this crap before I, like, try to flesh out my words here, but... Yeah, um, as I mentioned in the little update video, I had completely ran out of space on this memory card. Like, that's why, like, some of these save slots were showing up as, like, or had red X's through them when I would, like, try to load up a game. And I was just curious, like, I deleted uh, some stuff on this memory card to make room, and then I checked the memory card... Like, the, the, the space that Monkey Island was taking up on the memory card before I started the game back up. Then I played through up until now, and I checked the memory card again, and, uh... Yeah, it ended up taking up more space, so it's not confined to, like, a specific amount of space on the memory card. It is variable. So... What very well might have happened was that when I saved the game, there was literally no more space for it to save, thus rendering the file corrupt. Because it needed a little extra more space, and I was literally down to zero on the card. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm not going to try to explain that again. Because even just thinking about that, I'm kind of confused. But alright, whatever. What, what, all that matters right now is that we can go on with the game. Also, from the uh, like previous recording session, here's some random things that happened. Hey, you haven't seen my teammates, have you? They seem to have disappeared. Perhaps they ran off to join another circus. You know, I had figured you were the suspect, but now I know you don't have the wits to have done it. <laughs> it's just not as much fun without the termites. Thank you. 
Does this remind you of anything? Not especially, no. I don't think he'd like that. Hi, that's cruel and unusual punishment. Hopefully I remember to edit all that in. Also, upon playing back up to this point, I managed to get a couple new items um, that I didn't have on the previous file. I now have a prosthetic liver and a prosthetic heart. Uh, I got both of these by just trying to like brute force my way to getting the prosthetic feet. Like just going through the guy's little story thing, just choosing different names and I ended up getting a heart and a liver. And now that I think about it, I think I actually do need all of these and I could have sworn there's one more thing I am going to need from him. But I'm not going to worry about that just now. I think there will be a chance to get what I need later on. But right now, I'm just not going to worry about it. But yeah, I think I need at least one more item from him. Also, I uh, made a point to remember to show this off. Because like I said, Pegno's Pete's alias is different on each like just run through of the game as well as like the directions to his place so you got to be on your toes it's always going to be randomized and uh his name for this file was really good there are directions to pegno's pete's house weird looks more like a train schedule sam and max sam and max yes that is amazing that is amazing if you don't get that reference uh sam and max is another like little point and click adventure game series really good really good but all right um epic jump cut you might be wondering why i'm back here with hugo don't 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 do that hugo please don't okay but yeah uh you might be wondering why i'm back here um apparently i had the right idea just the wrong execution because yeah, you know, I'm I'm still right with the whole you want to anger him so he'll break his stick so you can put the termites on him at the stick, walk the walking stick shop because you know he's not going to let you do it at his place. So yeah, and then you'll be able to trick him into going there. You can follow the trail of sawdust that the termites will leave. And I was correct in uh, assuming like when I was just testing things out last time, that you want to spray some perfume on his, uh, like, well, one of his animals, stuffed animals there to make him mad. I was giving that a shot, but every time Guybrush was like, nah, I'd rather keep this, you know, between me and some of my personal friends, you know, the homemade perfume. So what you really want is some Eau de Le Chuck. And, uh, yeah, I'm a little upset about that. I caved in and looked this up. I cuz I had no clue what the hell I was doing. So, welcome. Yeah, all right. Shut shut up, Hugo. Um What that? I think I have to go through this again. Who'd want to smell like Oh, it's very popular. Smell like a rotting corpse referred to it as earthy. Popular does it sample bottles. Um Now you later. Bye. So then does that mean I can just Heck no. I'm a tough take man. it? It does smell nice though. That's a nice blue hue. Tis this smell. Okay, smell of seeing a bottle, swirly striped. Oh, that candy cane perfume. Smell. Smells nice and it's edible. Wow, what a Oh yes. This is breakthrough and scent mutt. technology, it's yeah. called Mutt. Um This is a very pink and yeah, oh, yeah the fleur. Um, I guess I don't get this way. Okay, I'm hey, stop that. confused. Phew. This stuff smells bad, even for a pirate. 
making sure I was able to pick up the regular cologne. So let me let me just make sure. What do you think of this? That's our featured fragrance. Yeah. Chuck. It smells awful. That's all I needed this entire time. Ude LeChuck. Wait, why, why am I walking there like a common peasant? I could just press L3 and I exit to the, you know, like next level up. So yeah, uh, that was the one thing that was impeding my progress. Picking up that random bottle of freaking cologne that you can barely see. I don't know why it specifically has to be Ude LeChuck and not the homemade perfume. But fine. I mean, I, I think either or would make this dude mad. Oh, but I guess it's because this is specifically a pirate smell. And he's probably used to Pegno's Pete's smell, so that probably wouldn't anger him as much. I'm not going to question the logic here. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. What are you doing? But then again, I don't think he would want his animals to smell like Pegno's Pete either. I, I will I will fight this like all the way through. Like I, I will dispute this at every step of the way. And what is that horrid smell? You befelled my kangaroo. Ah, crikey, look what you made me do. Now I need to order a new cane. Okay, so shout out to that guide on Facebook or not Facebook, Game Facts. Telling me to pick up the cologne from... I mean, it didn't even specifically say cologne. Oh, yeah, okay. But it didn't even say cologne. It just said pick up Ode Le Chuck from the perfume stand. I'm kind of salty about this one. I definitely would not have figured that one out. Like, I remember you gotta spray the animals, but... Still here. Oh. Yeah, he's mad. Alrighty then, so now I'm free to do everything else. I'm so glad I remembered a lot about Lucre Island. Can't say the same is going to be uh, for the next couple islands, because uh, I remember absolutely nothing about Jambalaya Island. Monkey Island, I think, is going to be simple enough. I know I'm kind of spoiling things, but come on, the name of the game is Escape from Monkey Island. Obviously, we're going to go to Monkey Island at some point. So, prosthetic hand, uh, Mandrel's Cane. Those little buggers sure know high quality wood when they see it. <laughs> My new kind of better be ready. Oh, it sure is, Mr. Mandrel. It's right uh, over on that bench there. Creepwood? Thinking of buying a walking stick of your own, are you? Oh, it might make you look more distinguished. <laughs> Quite like a monkey in a hat. <laughs> yeah, those are funny. Hey. <laughs> Put it on my bill, Freddy, and don't even think about overcharging me. Or I'll own you. Yes, sir. Always a pleasure, Mr. Mandrill. And now we see the termites in action. It's a pile of sawdust. I'm not picking that up. Okay, fine. You, you don't know when sawdust can come in handy. What if somebody vomits, huh? What are you going to do then? What are you going to do then, guy brush? You don't think that far ahead, do you? No, of course you don't. All right. So let's go on back and wrap up this end of the saga, I guess. Okay. So now, let's talk to him. I'm back. What do you want now? Because we can prove You're that you true, framed me. I can prove that you framed me. Let me guess. You found Pegnose's booty showcase. Yeah. And what did it look like? Hmm. 
one of the top five booty showrooms I've seen this year. Top five booty showrooms I've seen this year. See, I'm a man that knows booty, and that is definitely a top five booty showroom. We're bluffing. With the power of the ultimate insult, the Caribbean will be mine. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Oh, we don't need to. Mm. Once I clear my name, I really should find out what this ultimate insult thingy is. Alrighty, now let's follow him. Uh, pl please, Guybrush. All right. It's a pile of sawdust. And now we won't get lost yet. Here we are. I, I had that trail to follow. Up until now, that is. It's disappeared. Those termites probably ran out of cane to eat. Now, where did that Australian pirate phobe go? Oh, there he is. I must have kangaroos in me upper paddock. Be very, very quiet. I'm on Nazis. <laughs> this ultimate insult nonsense has me uncharacteristically baffled. I knew I should have taken that class in ancient voodoo curses at the University of Toowoomba. The heirlooms must be nearby. Well, he came from around here. There's a hidden passage back here. That must be where Ozzy disappeared to. Then climb down it, boy! Come on, guy brush. Use your common sense. Oh yeah, this is this is a booty showroom, alright. Look at that booty. What an odd collection of junk. There doesn't actually seem to be all that much valuable stuff in here. Alright, well fine. Uh ooh, skull. Murray? Guess not. No, uh, it's not Murray. Murray the Talking Skull is not down here. That's a character from the previous games. Uh, what else we got? Wow. wonder if Elena let me have one of these. Why is there a bar in your booty showroom? Well, I guess, you know, it's nice to have something to drink while you admire booty. What kind of twisted freak keeps the skulls of his victims lying in piles around his showroom? I bet he wasn't hugged much as a child. Don't judge us. I, I mean, don't judge Pegnose Pete. Uh, what we got on the table? Dirty dishes. For a master thief, Pegnos is a real slob. Yeah, I guess. Wait, wait, I, I saw something show up. This button practically screams push me. Alright, well, your finger is on the button. World, the time has come to push the button. Oh, up. wait, crap, I press square. Well, so much for that chemical bros reference. I've got to find a way to get in there. Hmm. The bank booty and the Marley heirlooms are in the cavern on the other side of this unbreakable window. Cavern? Wait, did he specifically say unbreakable? The bank booty and the Marley yeah. heirlooms are in the cavern on the other side of this unbreakable window. Okay. Um. I think I know what must be done now. Because I did see something as I was walking by here. Shallow water. Oh, deep water. All right, dive into it. Hold your breath, guy brush. We're going to be here for a minute. Something. It's too dark to see. I'm not picking up anything unless I know what it is first. Oh, wait. Duh, I remember this. I, I remember. Okay, yep. Yep, that's why you wanted the uh, stupperware and the bait. Because we need to lure those little fish into it. I already have something in there. Just waiting for the fish to come back. Okay. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Mm, maybe I should wait until they're closer. 
You are really good at holding your breath, by the way. Um, okay. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I don't know why I remembered that as like, oh, I'm going to need that to, like, get a shark to leave me alone. Like, that's what I remembered it in my mind, but... Or, that's what I remembered it being in my mind, but I guess I was wrong in that assumption. Yeah, we just needed to get the fish so we can see where we're going, and now we're in here. Whew. It's a good thing I can hold my breath for ten minutes. That is very good. That, that is very good. It's the stolen booty from the bank. Then grab it. Good thing you got deep pockets, boy. Kind of an unceremonious end because I needed to look up something to make it to this point, but at least at the end of the day, we something did it. Just fell out of the chest. A tiny screw. A tiny prosthetic screw. Peg nose's prosthetic nose. Now I can clear the good name of Guybrush Streetwood. Okay. Well, put that up and pick up the itty bitty tiny brass screw. I don't think that would help anything. Okay. We got anything else? It's beautiful. That's Pegnose's showroom over there. There's nothing else. Oh, wait. Look at the stalactite. Strangely shaped stalactite. Okay. Thought we were going to get more out of that. To be fair, I don't know what we would have got out of that. Is there a stalagmite I can look at as well? No? Alright, fine. And now we're free to leave here. Okay. Time to clear our name. And now we got a little trail to go back here. Well, that's good, for, you know, if, in case you didn't have bait to get the fish. So glad I remembered I needed that for something or other. All right, Hall of Justice, it's time to bring Pegno's Pate to justice. That was not a clever thing to say. Oh, well. Sucks that this is like the one thing of this little trio, trio, trio of goals that wasn't automated. Like, we actually have to walk over here. But it's fine. You gotta build up that tension somehow. We can finally get this ankle bracelet taken off. I recovered the stolen loot. Am I free now? That doesn't mean you <laughs> can steal it. Oh, all right, fine. Uh, then we got this itty bitty brass screw. Oh, Inspector, I think you'll find this interesting. What's this? It looks like a tiny screw. I think you'll find it goes with a nose I gave you earlier. Oh, you do, do you? What makes you so sure, eh? It won't prove a thing. Quiet, you. Well then, perhaps we should give it a try. Hold still, you! Quiet, you! Well, I'll be. Let, let's see that screw. It doesn't fit! Quiet, you! If the nose fits, you must acquit. I've never seen that screw before in my life! Quiet, you! Well, all right then. I guess your name's been clear. Let's see that leg of yours. Oh, um, right. <laughs> the anklet thingy. Hold on. Maybe I should do a background check on you. Just because you didn't rob the bank doesn't mean you aren't wanted for other more heinous crimes. Hi, he stole a duck! Quiet, Quiet you! On the other hand, without the stigma of felonious robbery hanging over your head, you seem pretty harmless. So, off you go. Hey, was that an insult? <laughs> So apparently, Pegnos Pete is a ninja. I never would have guessed. 
Seriously, they did not pat him down for stuff when they arrested him. And those shackles were like, what, paper mache? Whatever. At least we got time to really admire this screen right here. Oh, okay, thank you. Is that the society, Otis? Ha, freaking ha. Time to make sale, shipmates. Thank God. I hate this repressive place. Yeah, I was getting kind of bored. We can't. I have more repairs to make. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Ship's ready. And now we're leaving Lucre Island. Oh wow, nothing bad happened on the way back to Melee. That's nice. So let's admire this map for how okay, right, thank ladies, you. Stay here and watch the ship while I go into town. Yeah, you guys stay here while uh, Guybrush and I check out the flora. If you get to go, I get to go. Scumbar, here I come! Hey, if anyone here gets to go to the scum bar, it's me. Hey. <clears throat> Please stay here and guard the ship. I'll be back soon. Jeez, we were just kidding. We were. <laughs> This can't be right. I'm afraid it is, Governor. Charles L. Charles' Good Times Free Grog campaign has given him a 23% lead in all the polls. But... Honey, I'm home. Guybrush, oh, you're back. Yes, and look what I've got. Uh, oh, wait, that's not it. Oh, Guybrush, this is wonderful. Esteban, take these papers down to Melee Town Hall and save my mansion. Oh, Guybrush, I am so glad you're back. What took you so long? Well, that's a funny story. It all started when I went looking for the no-nosed pirate. And then Ozzy said, I'm gonna put your shrimp on me body. After that, I was attacked by an army of koalas. <laughs> and so the lawyers used the Marley Mansion deed to drop the legal papers to save the mansion. Then I came back here. Well... Seems like the sensible thing to do would be to destroy my grandfather's heirloom so that no one could get their hands on the ultimate insult. Whatever that is. I agree. Got a match? <laughs> Charles! You manipulating weasel! Get out of my house before I stick my piranha poodles on you! Yikes! No, no, my dear Mrs. Marley. Threepwood. Is that any way to talk to the next governor of Melee Island? I don't care what the polls say. The pirates of Melee will see through your tissues of false hopes and empty promises. <laughs> the pirates of Melee couldn't see through a window. They can't even see what's right in front of them. What are you talking about? Why, only the biggest lie of them. LeChuck! LeChuck! At your service. Enough of this inane banter. I've got an election to win. <laughs> How do you expect to be elected once I tell everyone you're really LeChuck? Go ahead, tell them. Shout it from the rooftops. It will only ensure my victory. And once I'm elected, I'll use my gubernatorial powers to divine the secrets of the ultimate insult. Huh? You heard me. The ultimate insult. With its unholy power, I'll make the seas run red with the blood of my enemies. I'll bring the forces of hell to the shores of the Caribbean. And I'll finally make Elaine my willing bride. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. Who saw that coming? Charles L. Charles was LeChuck all along. I mean, it's not like Chuck is another name for Charles, you know, and the L is in there, and we didn't really know what the L stood for, so, I mean, you know, the context clues were kind of, you know, just staring us there in the face this entire time, but still, who saw that coming? Act 2. Enter the manatee. I'm confused. About what? How can LeChuck be alive? Relatively speaking, of course. I don't know. 
I mean, it's not like they killed him, you know, in previous games. And still, I mean, you know, up there, the governor can't be someone who's dead. I mean, you know, LeChuck. But I guess, you know, with that little Charles L. Charles alias, nobody knows that he's really dead. What is the ultimate insult? And why are LeChuck and Ozzy Mandrill after it? I don't know. Well, I've got a plan. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but what is it? Hide in the mansion? Hmm. Why not? Let's work together to find out the secret of Big Whoop. Oh, sorry, wrong script. Oh yeah, that was the previous game. Crap. Well, now here's my plan. I'll redouble my efforts to keep LeChuck out of the governor's mansion. Which should be a lot easier now that I know he's really an evil undead demon from heck. In the meantime, why don't you do everything you can to stop Ozzy and LeChuck from getting their hands on the ultimate insult? Or whatever that is. Uh, okay. How? If I were you, honey, I'd talk to the voodoo lady. And she always seems to know about these things. But... Have fun fighting the bad guy, schnookums. So this is what it's like being a first lady. And speaking of ladies, we'll speak to the voodoo one next time. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. We're entering the I remember absolutely nothing about this part of the game. So it's going to be interesting going forward. Goodbye.